Last year we left off with Nancy Botwin uh, with Child, with uh, Esteban's Child, we assume. You know, the whole operation, the tunnel being found, and a nice opening for a new season for uh, some um, raising of the stakes. Doug Wilson, my character, is um, as self-obsessed as he was last season. He's even more so this year. And he, uh, he and Silas are uh, uh, preparing to kind of get into some more trouble, uh, uh, you know, together. Doug and Silas have a new uh, business venture. We are um, into the medical um, marijuana boutique business. And so we kind of um, go through stages of getting all that going and finding a place to open up a medical marijuana boutique and all that comes along with that. It seems like um, Doug and Silas are, are kind of the duo this year and Andy is uh, off doing something else, um, probably with another uh, actress. <laughs> and, um, but it'll be good to work with, uh, with Hunter, who plays Silas, because uh, I haven't had a lot of scenes with him. And uh, you know, I think he's somebody good I can mess with as my character. If Nancy is pregnant, uh, and if, if she really is pregnant, all of us will have to kind of become a little more gentle with her. Not that we weren't already. You know, and have to kind of go through the pregnancy with her and, and hope that she will survive after the baby is born, if there is a baby. Nancy's not the ideal mom because she's, she's not uh, really thinking about uh, how all this affects her children. You know, dealing with pot initially and then getting into even more trouble, you know, crossing the border back and forth and taking up with the um, mayor of Tijuana, drug lord. And her kids are, of course, being affected by all this. They're getting into the whole marijuana uh, pot scheme, you know. Um, both kids are now selling and um, actually quite good at it, too. So they're following in their mother's footsteps, but they're not pregnant, or allegedly pregnant. I think Nancy's attracted to these dangerous men because um, there's kind of like that side of her that wants the danger. I think she welcomes the danger. You know, she's, uh, she's um, I think, always been looking for that type of an outlet you know, or she hasn't had it at home. She lives in this, you know, or she did live in this suburban community where everything was, you know, alike, the houses, the cars. And, um, and I think she was always looking for that escape, you know. I had a friend, uh, I still do, but she, she thinks the sexiest thing in the world is to be in bed with a man and have the, his gun slung over the headboard. <laughs> and I think maybe Nancy's a little bit like that. Well, here's the thing with Andy. He um, he's already a little scatterbrained as it is because he's smoking dope, and now he's like got to deal with his jealous tendencies with uh, Nancy because she's in love with another man, and so now he's got two things going on in his head. So he's going to be really hard to um, have a conversation with, I think, and it's going to be hard for him to focus on what needs to be done, and um, and I think that's where Doug's going to be taking up some of the slack this year, even though Doug's a big pothead himself. <laughs> Every year, this uh, show ups the ante. They raise the stakes, and it becomes a lot more complicated, and a lot more uh, there's a lot more layers involved. And um, and this year, it's almost like we're just spiraling. Every year, more and more out of control, and just getting deeper and deeper into that black hole that eventually I don't know how we'll ever get out of.